the magistrate rules and the act are not in our favor. It's a 1953, 1944. You can talk about the use of the act of this mortgage bonds. The banks are operating under that law. You can talk about credit agreement act. You look at that legislation, which is still in place. They are not in, in line with the constitution. You can talk about blacklisting. All those laws that we have, Minister of Justice, are not in favor in line of our constitution. People are losing property. It was economy excess. It was a COVID. It was drought. And the, if you can't make money and you are locked down, how are you going to pay your, your, your installment for the house or the car? The ministry says it's aware that the majority of debtors come from poor or vulnerable backgrounds and therefore are at risk of losing their primary homes for various reasons. Amongst others is limited time to secure legal assistance to defend their cases, while many lack knowledge and understanding of legal processes and procedures. A single mother of three kids owes she's in arrears of 100 and 50,000. Her total bond is 550,000. She's asked by the same bank to pay 5,450. 5, she can't afford it. She just got re-employment now. However, the same lady can afford 3,000 Namibian dollars. They are going to auction her house in three weeks time. They say no to $3,000. Stakeholders are saying the time has come for government to take a lead in an industry mostly controlled by the financial sector and sometimes unscrupulous legal professionals. Where in law are they actually uh, legitimized to come and evict people? You have police officers that are coming to evict you from your house and your children and it's very torturing exercise. The army of Namibia and the police are there so that they can throw you out and they close. Some of the recommendations made by the Ministry of Justice include an increase in the time frame in which defaulters can secure legal aid or make a court application. Another is to amend the Legal Aid Act to provide automatic legal aid to those who are about to have their property sold in execution of a judgment. The ministry will also look at introducing a law that would put a minimum value that would prevent legal proceedings to take place against immovable property. At the moment, there's no limit to how much you must or can owe before action is taken against homeowners. Dausab says the ministry has repealed over 140 laws in 2018 and are still busy repealing another set of laws which are no longer consistent with the values and aspirations of the Namibian constitution. What we are doing probably is not enough. You know, we certainly need to do more to protect our citizens. And if that requires a bit of law reform um, with, with, with a, a balanced um, view. We will not satisfy everyone, but what we need to look at is how the majority of the people are disproportionately affected by some of the decisions that we take, but also by some of the laws that we have in place. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.